talking portraiture, e-products, auto editing, e-templates, educational videos for shooting smarter, not harder at the photo channel pro. Welcome to Crockettville in Hauserville. I am at my buddy Mark Hauser's studio and we are getting Mark ready to go to make the big transition into hybrid photography. Those of you that are familiar with Mark, he is one of our hybrid heroes. That is a world famous black and white portrait photographer based in Chicago. And we've got a lot of equipment that we're testing out to try to figure out what works best for Mark and how he's gonna be able to shoot photo and video, primarily in black and white, to make printed products as well as making e-products. Mark likes our pocket portrait and he wants to get going with our pocket portraits in his studio for actually the holiday time. So we're maybe a little bit behind the curve, but we'll catch right back up. One of the cool parts about working at Mark's is that he has no budget restrictions and we can have the best of the best of the best. And Mark has, of course, as you can see, nice continuous lighting here. That's the Larson 4x4. And we've been running a bunch of tests today on prints. Now, Mark has big high-end inkjet printers here, which is wonderful. So we can find out what works really terrific for him. Now, remember, if Mark's going to be able to shoot photo as well as video, those two really need to match for what Mark's vision has. So we've got to make sure when he presses the shutter button on that camera that it makes the full tonality image that he wants in JPEG, right? Mark's not a raw shooter at all. Plus, he wants to make sure that that JPEG tonality matches the video tonality. So we have chosen, we've made a decision, we've chosen that Mark's going to go with the Lumix GH3 system. Now, we did have quite a considerable debate because the Fuji X system is ready for somebody like Mark and it has a superior black and white. However, things like autofocus work better on the Lumix camera. Flipping back and forth between photo and video work better on the Lumix camera. There's a lot more options for video on the Lumix camera than there is the Fuji camera and the ability primarily for Mark to work with the live HDMI is a biggie. Louie, can you pull back a little bit and show the setup here? Uh, when you look, you'll see that Mark uses a camera stand, not a tripod. He likes a big, sturdy stand, and he likes an XYZ head for his mounting his cameras, right? So he's got super control, very, very um, uh, tight cropping. Mark doesn't like to do any post-production whatsoever, right? Not even cropping if he can get away with it. So you'll see the Lumix GH3 there is plugged in with an HDMI cable that dips on over to the small HD brand. That's an AC7 LED monitor. Now you'll also see the difference. Can you see, Lou, the difference between the two screens? It's also what you'll see that there, the screen on the GH3 is really nice, and you'll see that there's a, an image of me up there that looks okay. Well, the image on the AC7 screen is more accurate, and even though it's probably really too much to ask for for that camera to see that camera, that camera in this print, you'll see that this print represents what that camera could do, and this print looks a lot more like the external monitor. Now, on the Lumix system, that external monitor is powered by the HDMI port on the side of the camera and it does not interfere with the camera at any time. So it can be on and Mark can use it for focusing and use it for exposure anytime he wants to. And you know what else we're finding out? That when uh, Louis is in charge of moving the files here at Hauser's, they have a USB cable connected to the camera and then they just switch it on and off at the computer when they want to move files. So Mark does his photo session with photo and video then the USB cable is already connected. Louis flips a switch over on the Macintosh on the other side, and then it connects up with the camera, allows Louis to import those images into Lightroom right away, both photo and video. We're also discovering that that HDMI port is able to be go, gone through a splitter, an HDMI splitter. So the video comes out of the camera, gets split into two directions. One goes to Mark's production monitor here, and the other one goes the other side of the room to a huge television. Why? That puts mom and dad, say if little kids are getting their picture taken over here, mom and dad are looking at what Mark's shooting up there on the screen. And when Mark's not shooting, it's showing a live view of what's up there. It's a great sales tool. If Mark wants to sell more big prints, which he does, he has his own printers here, remember, right? So he actually makes these prints as fast as he can so that the people actually leave here with prints. Well, if you want to sell big prints, you got to show big prints. 
So instead of printing big prints, Mark just has a television coming up there. So the people will get the ability while he's shooting it to see him on a 50 inch plasma monitor that's tweaked into perfection. Then when Louie's doing the playback of photo and video from the computer, actually uh, Natalie does the sales stuff for like that, they'll be able to see it on a big screen, making it easier to sell those big prints. Pretty stinking smart, right? So the portrait studio of the future may have something to do with what Hauser's got cooking here. Forget about the five Ds, right? That's what he's got or had. He's replacing everything with the Lumix GH3. Reason is that he's able to shoot beautiful beautiful black and white photo and video that doesn't need any post-processing and he can spit out prints as well as e-products in real time in less than 45 minutes. That's how Mr. Hauser is going to show the rest of the universe how it all works and guess what else? Mark Lives loves the first pocket portrait, the one Suzette just made, and he's going to be creating his own. So soon in the matter of probably six weeks, we'll have our first Mark Hauser e-templates available on myetemplate.pro. You can get those processed, of course, at hybridlab.pro. There's my cheap, cheap, sleazy commercial I threw in here. And you can play them back on myecard.pro. And by the way, if you haven't seen myecard.pro, you should get over there. There's some really cool improvements. So from the Hauser studio, it's Mr. Crockett saying thank you for paying attention over the last year or so about how we're making progress over at Mark's. And we've finally got it. This is it. Mark's ready to start making money with hybrid talking portraiture e-products auto editing e-templates educational videos for shooting smarter not harder at the photo channel pro